back to Hogwarts, Hogwarts. I'm so sorry. I feel so bad saying this. Hi everybody, how are you? I feel like I look like Christmas. Do I look like Christmas? Because I feel like I do. Anyway, how are you? I hope that you're very, very well. I feel like I've not uploaded in ages. It's been like a week, but it feels like so much longer. I don't know why. So today I am here with a Starkid video. So if you don't know, throughout lockdown, basically I committed to watching all of the Starkid musicals. Because even though I'm a massive musical fan, I'd actually never seen a Starkid musical. So I watched them all through lockdown. So I will leave a playlist of those down below. There are still some others on my list that I want to watch so don't worry I will be watching some Tin Can Brothers stuff and some other bits so do not fear this is not the end. I've also got all of my fabric and a cabbage patch kid so that I can make my own wiggly. Keep an eye out for that. Hopefully that will be up next Friday on Black Friday. Today I wanted to do like a ranking of the Star Kid shows that I've watched from the ones that I like the most to the ones that I like the least. Now what I will say is I like the majority of them I pretty much liked all of them. There was only maybe one or two that I was a bit like, meh about. There was things that I liked in all of them and I have to say the majority on this list, even though it's gonna go from like favorite to least favorite, even though some are lower down the list, doesn't mean that I don't think they're still great just this is the order I would put them in personally. So even if yours is at the bottom, I'm not saying it's bad. I'm not saying that I didn't like it. Um, cool. Let's start at the very beginning. A very good place to start. We're going to start with my favourite and if you have followed along, you might be able to kind of guess where I'm going to place things from my reactions when I watch stuff. Coming in at my favourite Starkid show that I watched is Black Friday. It's the show that I've listened to the music again since, I've watched clips of it again since, and I plan to watch the whole thing again. I personally thought the show was the fastest paced, maybe not the best overall story, but I like that it was an original concept, because obviously Starkid is known so much for doing parodies of things, and Black Friday was such a different thing, and I really liked how it was cast, I liked the variety of characters, I just loved the music as well, I thought it was great. I loved the way that it was filmed. It felt very kind of cinematic and I just generally thought it was like great high quality. It was really weird because I got a lot of comments on the video saying that people really didn't like the show and it was probably their least favourite and I was really surprised because as I say I loved it so much. There was something that felt very classic contemporary musical theatre about it and I just loved it. It was very much like up my street with regards music and everything so yeah Black Friday comes in at number one for me. Coming in at number two is a very Potter musical senior year. I loved this show so much. It made me cry and I don't know if it just I was really in my feels that day but when I watched it I felt really like cozy and happy and I felt there was such a sense of joy about it and it brought me a lot of happiness and I know that again people really disliked this one because it was obviously they all had scripts in their hands and things and like the sound wasn't great but generally I loved that show. I liked that they brought some of my favourite characters back, like Cedric. I love Cedric. Definitely my favourite of the Harry Potters. Coming in at number three is A Very Potter Musical. It's such a classic and again, when you watch it, there's such a happiness from watching Star Kid shows that I don't really feel like you get a lot of in kind of commercial theatre and you could tell that it was just people who were coming together to make something fun with their friends. I absolutely loved it and I love the back to witches and wizards and you know that one? Back to Hogwarts, Hogwarts. I also loved Voldemort. I loved Joe Walker and him as Voldemort was... I was the, I was there for it, you know? I mean, Lauren Lopez as Draco. You just, you just really can't get better. I love Darren, just the whole thing. And I think if I watched them all back now, which I do intend to do like on my own, I think I would feel even more love for them. And I, I really, really loved A Very Potter Musical. I thought it was great. And it's just so nice to see people that now you're watching them like over 10 years later and to see where they've come and you kind of feel like you're on this journey with them. It's really lovely. So coming in at number four for me is Holy Musical Batman. Now, I'll be honest, I did not expect to really like this show because 
I'm not really in the superhero world. You know, I think Tobey Maguire is Spider-Man still. I've basically seen like three superhero films in my entire life, so I'm really, really not in that realm. But I just loved the show so much. I loved seeing Nick Lang playing Robin. I thought he was so funny. Jeff Blim as Sweet Tooth. I feel like that is Jeff Blim's best role. Like, I think he is incredible incredible in that show. He is just perfection, like I wouldn't change anything about his performance. He's wonderful. And Jamie Lynn Beatty as Candy, as his like sidekick as well, I thought they worked so well together and were so like engaging. I just thought they were wonderful. So I massively, massively loved that show. And as I say, I really didn't think that I would. For a while I was like, is that my favourite? But I think as I've like sat down to try to really think about the order I want to put them in. I think, yeah, fourth is a good place. And as I say, I still love all of these. I'm sure so many people are going to disagree with me though, so I'm really sorry. As I say, please don't be upset or angry or anything. You know, it's personal preference at the end of the day, just opinions, isn't it? My opinion isn't worth any more than any other person. I'm just doing it in a video. Okay, next coming in at number five is Trail to Oregon. I really enjoyed this show, but I hated the last section. Like, I full on had to like like skip through sections of it because I just th this is the thing like I love Star Kids so much but sometimes their toilet humor and kind of more immature humor isn't really my vibe some stuff where it's just a bit like you're just swearing for the point of swearing and you're just making a poo joke I don't know like I don't think that's like my vibe of comedy really but I still loved so much more before then like as I say up until, you know, where you pick the final of the show, I was loving it, totally there for it. I thought the music was great. I mean, some of the songs, again, <laughs> not all of them were, you know, the most family friendly, but I was enjoying that show a lot more. But yeah, as I say, that ending. I really liked how interactive it was and I like that the Starkid team are very open with trying new things. I got so many comments as well like, you're so stupid, why do you not know what the Trail to Oregon is? Obviously now I know that it is a game that is played in America, I believe, when you're children. We didn't have it in the UK, we, n we never played it. But I like that it kind of was a parody of the game. Do you know what I mean? I I think it was fun. <laughs> I'm so bad at describing my thoughts. Yeah, I liked the concept. And I did watch the other endings, by the way. I love the sister's ending and I love the mum's ending the most. Next, coming in at number six is The Guy Who Didn't Like Musicals. I really enjoyed this show. I think the music was fantastic in it. I love Mariah Rose Faith. I think she's amazing. I love Robert Mannion. And seeing those two in like big roles was very exciting. And I liked all the twists and turns. And the music was great as I say. It wasn't in my like top top because I found it a little bit forgettable. When I try and think back about it, I'm like, do I remember everything that happened? Do I remember how I feel about all of it? I don't have like super strong feelings about it like I do about some of the others. And as I say, I enjoyed it and I thought it was great and a great show. And again, it was beautifully filmed and, and well choreographed and things. It wasn't one of my like total, total favorites, but I still liked it. Okay. So, oh, my lighting, I don't even know. Coming in at number seven is Twisted. I feel like a lot of people are gonna be very angry with me about this one. And listen, the stuff that I didn't like about Twisted far outweighed the stuff that I didn't like. However, it just wasn't one of my favorites still. I really loved the idea of Twisted, the fact that it was kind of like wicked with Aladdin. <laughs> I thought that there was a lot of the humor in the show that maybe wasn't just kind of my vibe. There was a lot of kind of, uh, what's the word? It's kind of more like a lot of ass jokes and things that just, I don't know. I like really wholesome humor. <laughs> I like dad humour, do you know what I mean? Sometimes the humour in Twisted felt a little bit like schoolboy humour, if that makes sense. So it definitely wasn't my favourite on the humour front. I thought the music was great. I love Dylan Saunders. I think he was incredible as Jafar. Any time that we get to see Dylan sing, like, beautiful, big, soaring musical numbers is pretty much perfection. I love Rachel as the princess. My favorite song in it was the villain song. I absolutely loved it. But again, it just wasn't my favorite. If you disagree, that's 
totally fine and this isn't this is good and this is bad it's just opinion at the end of the day so again please don't think that I'm bashing on Starkid because you know that I feel so welcomed in by the community and I have appreciated your help, your kindness, your explanation so, so much. So please don't think that I'm hating on your favorite shows because I'm really, really not. Like, as I say, the stuff that I didn't like was so outweighed by the things that I did love. Okay, so coming in at number eight is Firebringer. I loved the music for Firebringer. I loved that it was female heavy. I loved the fluidity of sexuality in it. There was a lot of it that I loved but I really just didn't like the story as I say the music was so beautiful some of the like some of those gorgeous vocal harmonies it gave us some memes we love a meme in this house I love Meredith oh she was so good in that show and I love Lauren having like a massive main role I love Denise I loved the cute song that Joey and Rachel sang but having said all that I just didn't like the story the general story just wasn't something that kind of interested me. I just was a bit like meh about the story but as I say that the other stuff was so great so that's why I, I didn't put it higher even though I like the music in Firebringer more than a lot of the other ones. I can't rank it higher. I wouldn't probably choose to watch it again maybe. I didn't like the end where Chorn turned out to be an alien. Okay coming in at number nine is Annie. So like the Holy Musical Batman one, I think I've seen one Star Wars film when I was like 10 years old in the cinema and I remember like zero about it. So I'm really just not the person to talk to about Star Wars. And there was so much in it that I didn't understand. I just didn't get so many jokes. Like they said jokes and everyone in the audience was like laughing their heads off and I was like, and that's no fault of the show, that's on me. I'm fully aware of that. Something with Annie that I loved is I really liked how the music was sung separately because again, it's like a different concept and I love the way that Starkid are not afraid to try different avenues of creativity and they really just try anything and I love that and I respect that so much. Yeah, I really enjoyed Annie. I didn't think I was gonna like it as much as I did. And as I say, even though it's number nine on my list, it doesn't mean that I didn't still love it. <laughs> it's just in my list of favorites, that's where it has to fall. I think if I knew the jokes, I would love it a lot more. I know that a lot of people don't really like it. I love Chris Allen and I thought he was so great. Coming in at number 10 is Me and My Dick. Again, a show that I really enjoyed. I loved the concept of it. I thought there was a lot of really great stuff in the show. Something I found very funny. You have to look at it as a bunch of teenage or very early 20s boys and their kind of humor. I would maybe said <sighs> two or three of the songs I really loved but I didn't love all of it. I thought it was very well cast. I loved everybody in it. I love Joey and Joe and I think they're great together. Number 11 is Starship. Now I had so many comments like Starship was my favorite musical but I just didn't really enjoy it. I know, I'm sorry, I love puppets. <laughs> and in spite of that, I couldn't sing you a song from it, even though it was written by Darren Chris, and you all know I love Darren Chris, and I feel so bad. I just didn't really enjoy it. Again, about like the Annie thing, there was a lot of science talk that I didn't understand. And again, people were really laughing at these science jokes, and I'm like, I was really bad at science and I don't remember any of it from school, so can't relate to these jokes. So, yeah. I will maybe give it another try because, as I say, so many people said that they loved it and I just think maybe I need to give it another try where I'm not doing it on camera. And then finally, coming down to number 12, is a very Potter sequel. Mm. 
I liked this show a bit. I liked seeing all my fave characters that I'd seen from a very Potter musical and I was starting to really get into the kind of fandom at this time. I was spending more time following everybody on social media and starting to kind of love them all a little bit more. But just generally, I didn't really like the story of this one. It kind of matched up with my least favourite Harry Potter films and books as well. I really disliked Umbridge. I know, I'm sorry I love Joe Walker but I just didn't like the character of Umbridge and I didn't like Remus. I know I love Brian Holden but I just didn't like Remus. I'm so sorry. I feel so bad saying this. Please don't hate me. It just wasn't it for me. <sighs> I think I liked it maybe more at the time than I do now looking back, but just generally it wasn't, wasn't my vibe. But for so many people I know that it is their favourites and again, I'm sorry. Anyway, that is my humble ranking of Starkid shows that I have watched throughout lockdown. Please let me know what yours are. I would be so interested to hear where other people rank them. So yeah, please do share with me and thank you so much for watching this video and for joining me on this fun journey of Starkid stuff. I do a lot of unpopular opinions videos on my channel. If you're only here for Starkid, you might not know that. And I was wondering about maybe doing an unpopular Starkid opinions video so let me know if you would like to do that. I always ask for those over on my Instagram and that is me and I hope that you're all well and keeping looking after yourselves and taking care and drinking lots of water and I will see you soon. Love you lots. Bye!